Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I'm gonna merge this working uh, locomotive with ugly cover and missing missing plates with this torn apart, not working one. Um, it's missing all sorts of stuff, but it has the plates. I to already took one off. It's uh, over here, together with the buffers. Um, to, to remove the buffers and the plate, you have to pull the buffers out. Um, actually, the first first time it required quite some force. You have to pull them straight out, and uh, well, since I noticed the amount of force was required, I figured I'd do that on forehand. To prevent uh, me uh, seeing me struggle uh, with these for the next half an hour, which doesn't make a good video. This I mainly use for parts. Um, so it's got uh, it's got some useful parts uh, for in the future, and uh, yeah, I'm just keeping it around. This one I got on a new delivery, and it's uh, is it the same? Except it mm, it had a silver cover it's not having that anymore um, and um, it's missing the 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 plates the shields on the front and back so i'm just gonna um, take this clean up uh, a bit quickly getting the plates on and uh, putting it all together and uh, i should have a new engine so I did notice it's uh, same with the lemurs. This is this is same with the other lima. It makes a lot of noise. I think the uh, uh, the brushes are uh, worn out. Um, I'm just gonna take a peek. Hope I won't lose any parts. And, uh, Taking. Oh, how did that work again? Oh, it's been such. It's been a while since I took one of these apart. So it seems the whole assembly comes off. Okay. There we go. Yeah, the brushes indeed are not looking. All that good, and the motor itself is it's black, just black. So I'm gonna leave this here very carefully. Hope not to break it. I'm gonna clean it. Same as with the Lima. I have the air IPA here. I put the buffers in there. So we can clean. I'm just gonna swap here. Look at that. It's already such a difference. It's uh, I did half of it. Let's see if I can get that into view. Uh, it's just flying off. It's uh, very, very dirty. And this stuff works great on it. So I'm only gonna clean it. And I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in between the, uh, the the plates here, but that already looks good, so there's not a lot I have to do here. I'm gonna put it back together. That's fine. First, of course, gonna clean this end here. Just get the right one. There we go. That black suit that's coming off. That's just the uh, the. Um, graphite, I think this is graphite, the carbon that's coming off of this is um, getting on there and making it for a very sparky ride. Put these back, number one, number two, okay. Put this back right there. 
how we do. So that's the, uh, that's the engine itself, the motor part at least. Even even I'm covered in in black stuff right now. I guess I lost the, uh, and now I have tried to repair the, the green one earlier, as a kid. I think I was not very careful and I lost my, um, also all, all the parts of this. Um, now regarding the wheels, I'm just gonna, they, they look, they look quite clean as if they never had any oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, same with the other ones, I just, this one I'm just gonna give a good brush. With the IPA, just to get some of the stuff out that's made that may be in there, but it it's looking a lot better than than the Lima engines I usually have now. Rotating it a bit, it already sounds better. And ah, here that little one is pretty dirty. That sounds already a lot better. And it hasn't had any oil in yet. Now the back plates. Uh, getting the buffers out. Uh, I didn't want to do this with my hands again, but. These were very rusty and uh, very oily, dirty. Uh, they've been laying around uh, my track for a while. This engine was just a dummy. Yeah. I guess it attracted a lot of dust and stuff. So, taking this nice plate, it should fit because it should be the same engine. Taking one of the buffers. And just gently push it in there for a bit. There go. Now, giving a firm squeeze. That's one. Here's number two. Again, that one's going to be a bit harder. Giving it a firm squeeze there. Yeah, that's better. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh, look at that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with, the, with them. Maybe it should be the other way around. But... The ones on the other side are very hard to get in, and these uh, just fall out. So I'll uh, put something in the description if I find out why that is. And I got a feeling it has to do with it being bent. So I'm not going to figure that out right now. I'll uh, put that. In the description later. Uh, this one is very dusty and I don't want to mm, try to get all the silver stuff off or on. I don't even know if it's supposed to be on there. I'm just going to give this a clean up. Mm. Putting it back. Not putting it on, of course. Get 
still uh, quite has not a lot of oiling it was just as you could hear it was already running rather smoothly okay, just gotta make sure these parts here are oiled up hopefully the shield won't fall off again as it did the last five times and in here make sure that's greased up as I mentioned in my other videos, it's better to use uh, grease instead of oil for this, but since um, the, 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 the reason for doing that is it spatters less, so I think your, your track and engine won't be all covered in oil. I don't have that grease. I got an open track here which is meant just for driving bare trains and testing them out. It'll spatter off all the oil on here, that's fine, that's why it's here. And once that's done, I'll put it in its casing, and uh, it's not going to be that messy. So, there we go. It sounds good. The track is uh, not very clean. The wheels are. Still a lot of sparking in the engine. But it's already a lot better. So, there we have a newly driving 1306 Fleissmann with this buffer still falling off. Right, I'm gonna fix that and uh, I'll tell you how later. Thanks for watching and um, if you like this stuff, don't I don't mind if you would subscribe. And um, I hope to see you later in another video.